Noify service templates can be a faster way to estimate the cost of a job and get a more detailed budget before getting started. This tutorial will show you how to create and use any service templates in your system. We'll start in our catalog module. This is where we'll hold all of your service templates for reference or if you ever need to edit them, and we'll get started by adding a new service. The most important part of this is checking the This is a Template option when creating the new service. This is how we know it's a budgeting tool and not just a service that you offer your clients. I'll give this template a name, and for the sake of this video, I'm going to assume that we're a painting company, and I'll call this template Interior Painting. I'll write in the description of what this interior painting entails, and I'll include a default work order. The default work order is going to be used for both reference for our users in the mobile app when they want to see what they're working on, and for quoting prices to the client. This will be put directly onto our proposal document. You'll always be able to edit this per each job, but what we're writing in here now is just the default that's automatically imported. I'll also add a couple of tags to this service template. It'll just make it easier to search both in the catalog and when I'm going to be using this template later in the project plan. And then I'll put in the type of unit that I'm going to use when budgeting using this template. Now I could put in anything I want here. Uh, I could put it in square feet and I can freeze it however I want. And the next thing it's going to prompt me for is the default price per square foot. Now, just to clarify this a little bit, this would be where you enter the price if you offer it as a service that doesn't involve budgeting that you see below. So if you don't want to mark up your budgeted cost and you want to just say $10 per square foot, you can quote a price to the client really quickly using this. But we're going to focus on putting in the budgeting values now. So what it's asking me for here is the dollar value that we budget for labor for every square foot of interior painting. So if every square foot costs me $5 in labor, and I have to spend $1 in materials, that's the value we're going to be using when we're putting in the budget of our job later on. Then I'll go ahead and click Create Service, and this will be added to my catalog. If I ever want to reference this template, I can always go to the search bar, type in Paint, and I can see that Interior Painting shows up, it is a template, and I can see the relevant tags associated with it. We'll get into how we use these templates to budget later, but first, I'm going to show you how we can build a more detailed version of one of these service templates to really automate all of your material and labor budgeting. I'm going to make this one for exterior painting, and I'll just uh, speed up the process of entering all this info. And what we're going to do differently this time, instead of just writing in lump sum values that we budget per unit, we're actually going to enter in an actual list of materials that we offer as well as a list of labor hours and types of labor that we need to complete this work. We'll start with labor, and instead of writing in a dollar value, you see that I can add labor by hour. It'll prompt me for one of the roles from my system. I'll choose uh, foreman to start, and I'll write in the number of hours that I need a foreman on site for every square yard of painting. I'm going to throw in a laborer as well. And just to give you some more information on where these roles are coming from, I'm going to run to the admin section really quick. When we're in the admin section, I want to go under my rates tab. You'll see all of the rates for the different workers that are in your system. But at the bottom, you want to go to roles and applicable rates. And this is where we're pulling in that list of different types of worker. You'll also see the billing rate, which is what you would charge for time and materials. But more importantly for our service templates, the budget rate. That's what we estimate as the cost per every hour that we need a foreman or a laborer or whatever the type of worker is on the job. You can always add new roles here. Let's say I want to have a painter and I charge, you know, whatever, maybe an $80 an hour for a painter. Again, this is just for time materials, but more importantly, I budget $37 an hour, and now I can include that in my service templates. Now, in the same way that I put in a set number of hours of different types of laborer for my budget, I can do this with materials by saying what materials from my catalog that I need per each unit. I'll start with primer, and it's an entire bucket, so I don't need a bucket per each square yard. I'll say I need, you know, one, let's say five hundredths of a bucket. This is just for the sake of, you know, estimating how many buckets I'm going to end up needing, and it gives me a little bit more information when I'm doing my budgeting later on. I'll pull in paint as well. And since I'm budgeting for two coats of paint, I'll just double up whatever I put in for primer. 
And the last field here for subs is just if you're going to be hiring a subcontractor that's not an hourly subcontractor, but someone who's uh, on a lump sum contract. So in a situation like this, I'm budgeting $10 of subcontractor cost for each square yard. And now I'll create this service, and I can see that it's added to the catalog as well. Now, I'm going to show you how we can use these service templates to speed up the budgeting process in Noify. I'm going to start a job, and I'm going to use professional mode. Keep in mind that we do need to use professional mode when we want to budget. And we're going to start building our project plan. I'll add a job phase. And since there are service templates in my system, this button shows up. When I click here, I can search through the different templates available. I'll type in interior to get my interior painting template. It prompts me for the number of square feet since that's the unit that I used. And when I enter it, you'll see that we automatically show you what we're going to be importing as the budget for labor and materials. In this situation, it's going to just pull in lump sum values since that's what I use for my interior painting template. And it pulled in the default work order automatically into the phase. Next, I'll show you what we're going to do with our exterior painting template. Now, as easy as this was to put in lump sum budgets for interior painting, what we did with the exterior painting is going to make it a little bit quicker to get a list of materials and actual labor hours to track against. I'll do the same thing where I write in my quantity of units, in this case square yards. And you see that Noify is giving me a preview of all the different labor hours and materials that I'm including as this budget. Now when I confirm, it's going to automatically import the entire materials list. I do get the lump sum values for labor materials and subcontractor but I can see the itemized different paints that I'm going to be buying and the different labor hours that I had put in as part of my budget. We can always edit these values per each job too. I always like to round off the numbers so we can call it 40 foreman hours and 80 labor hours just to make it look a little bit simpler. And now in just a matter of seconds you can see that I have a total estimated cost to complete this project and is broken down into materials, labor, and subcontractor costs. Now that we have our budget in the system, I'm going to use this information to create my contract or proposal that I'll be sending to my client. I'm going to choose to use my project plan phases because I want to mark up the estimated cost that I put in earlier. And you see that we're using these line items from earlier in the project plan and we have the estimated cost from those budgeting values that we used. That way I can just plug in a markup, I'll put in 50%. It quotes all the prices for me. It includes a description on the line so I can make edits here. This pulls right from our work order. I can always adjust these prices if I want to, and you see that we have our contract put together really quickly using those values. Also, if you recall earlier, when we created our templates, it prompted us for a default price per unit. This is useful if I didn't put together a budget, and I just wanted to manually add items, and when I start typing, it'll search the catalog and pull in a unit price, so I just write in the number of units, and it'll automatically quote a price for me. It won't give you the detailed budget to track all of your costs against if you work this way, but it is a slightly faster way to build a contract. It still pulls in the description of the phase, so if you have some terms for these types of services or anything like that, it's a nice way to just jump in and start quoting prices to a client. Of course, the other advantage to using this material information in your budget is that it's simpler to create a purchase order just by going to the active project plan and clicking order materials and it has the list of items that were set up from your service template. If you would like to learn more about creating service templates or anything else around Noify, feel free to reach out to us at support at and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you and have a nice day.